Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about user defined exceptions. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about exceptions and all the concepts regarding the class, object, and inheritance concepts. Please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete Python language. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, Let's take an example and understand how we define the user defined exceptions. In our last class, we discussed that for all the exceptions, the base class is class exception. So we use the same thing for user defined exceptions also. For any user defined exception, the base class should be exception class. Let's try to understand why it is a required exception class. In this example, you will understand why we need that exception class. Here we are defining an exception class. Class marks not in range. This is the user defined exception and it is extending means it is inheriting the See, in, uh, this class is inheriting the exception class. Without inheriting the exception class, uh, we cannot define the exceptions, user-defined exceptions. Not only user-defined exceptions, for any inbuilt exceptions also, the base class should be exception, exception class. Uh. In this we are defining a constructor this constructor is taking two variables message is default variable we are displaying a message message is equal to marks not in the 0 to 100 range this is the message that's default value so marks is we have to provide the marks value then self dot marks is equal to marks these are the instance variables uh, instance variables hoping that you already know all these discussions from our previous classes uh, and we are we are calling the super class constructor so Super of init of self dot message. We are sending the message to super class constructor. Means uh, super class instance variable is assigned with this message. So what is super class here? Exception class. Uh, in this the variable is assigned with this message and in the exception class we are having a method uh, to display this message. Uh, so that that is how we will display the messages uh, now let's try to understand uh, how we call this exception we have defined a user defined exception marks is equal to int we are taking the input of the marks if marks is not uh, if not zero less than marks uh, less than 100 means uh, marks less than zero or greater than 100 we are raising an exception raise uh, marks not in range of marks uh, so this is the exception class which we defined here we are raising the exception in our last class we discussed how to raise the exception using raise of uh, raise of uh, keyword uh, this raise of whenever we raise an exception this will automatically call the method that is used in the exception class to display the message so it will automatically display the message that is why it is the base class for all the exceptions uh, now you have to get a clear idea about uh, how the exceptions in our last class we disc we had shown so many exceptions each one is written similarly like this the message will be displayed so let's take check the example this is how the exceptions are defined and enter your marks we run the example 101 and it is displaying the message marks not in range this is the class name this is the class name and marks not in 0 to 100 this is the message which we are displaying okay and check the next example the similar same example we are catching the exception user defined in order to show that user defined exceptions also work similar to the inbuilt exceptions so that's why we have taken this example marks not in range exception the same example when marks is equal to taking the input marks try block means whenever the exception is raised it will be catched by accept block so marks try if not in range raise the exception here we are raising the exception and this exception is catched by accept block except marks not in range we are catching this we are displaying the message marks not matching so that that's why the enter the marks 101 so this message accept block has been catched and we are displaying the message that is present in the accept block this is how we define the user defined functions hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept Please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.